okay assalamu alaikum the second lecture is on the same formula let's see another question the question is three vertices are given a b and c and we are going to show that these three vertices are the vertices of isosceles triangle so we will prove it inshallah so first of all we will find the distance between point a and point b with the same formula <coughs> by putting the values and after the calculation we will get under root 5 once again we are going to find the distance between b and c and here you can see a b and b c so by putting the values and after the calculation once again we will get under root 5 now last time we will for the next time we were going to find the distance between c a with the same formula and by putting the values we will get under root 10 and we know that the definition of isosceles triangle a triangle having two sides same when length is called isosceles triangle and on here we can clearly see that these two sides are same so is a b distance between a b point A and point B and point distance between B C are same. So, A B C is uh, isosceles triangle. The next question and uh, first of all we will read a formula which is called ratio formula. For example, we have two points point A and point B and we are going to find the point R x y which divide the point A B in the ratio k 1 k 2. So, the formula is R x y is equal to k 1 x 2 plus k 2 x 1 divided by k 1 plus k 2 comma k 1 y 2 plus k 2 y 1 divided by k 1 plus k 2. This is called ratio formula. If you want to find the point between two points, we will use which divides that point divides the point a b in the ratio k 1 and k 2. So, we will use this formula and here a question. Question number 8, given that point A and point B, which is 1, 2 and 3, 4, they say find the point which divide this point A and point B in the ratio 5 and 7. So, point A is 1, 2, point B is 3, 4 and K1 is 5 and here you can see and K2 is 7. So, by ratio formula on here and by putting the values after the calculation, we will get this point R x y which is equal to 11 by 6 comma 17 by 6. Thanks. After using the distance between two points formula, we will use another formula which is called midpoint formula. In the previous lecture, I also mentioned midpoint formula. And here point P which is 10, 20 and Q is uh, minus 12, minus 8 and we are going to find the midpoint of these two points. So, midpoint between P, Q by putting the values in the midpoint formula and after the calculation we will get the point which is uh, minus 1 and 6. Thank you.